All right, so I got this package today. I think I know what it is and I'm excited to open it, but I'm also kind of scared I'm gonna be let down because I did buy this on eBay for a lot cheaper than what it's being sold for. So I'm hoping it's not either broken or something completely different from what I originally was intended on buying. So let's open it up. But first, I think there's a good way to verify if this is real. Let's do that now. So I have to go grab something from my closet. This is where I store all of my old product boxes, just so in case I want to resell them, I have it all set here. And there is something that I need to get from the top here somewhere. And I got it. Let's go. So what I was searching for in my closet was the box that I got from my refurbished EF to RF mount. Um, as you can see, it's right here. It pretty much is just a slightly different box compared to the new one, um, but it had all the official, you know, stuff from Canon within it. So we could use that as kind of a little basis of which to base is this product that I got from eBay, you know, real versus, you know, if I just pretty much got scammed out of this whole thing. But let's open up the package right here. It's a lot bigger than this, so hopefully it's just a lot of packing, you know, peanuts and all that kind of stuff. And so I think the weird part in the product description for the whole thing of this was it talked about it would come with all the original packaging, which is fine, but then it got to a point where it said the control ring works, but the original EF to RF adapter doesn't have a control ring, so yeah, I don't, I'm really hoping that this is, you know, an authentic Canon EF to RF adapter. But let's see, pulling it out, and ooh, this is looking promising. Um, so we have the original box right here. Um, it says the mount adapter to EF to EOS R. Um, yeah, it just looks to be, you know, an open box or used product like it was explaining. Let's open this thing up. And the refurbished one that I got, it came with a Canon case for the adapter. So let's see if this one comes with case two. So first thing I see is... Okay, so this isn't even... This is really weird too. This isn't an international version apparently because it says USA and Canada so it's not a gray market one which makes me a little bit happy about this but let's see if it actually is what it is in the box so the other thing that it came with was another warranty card here I'm just gonna put to the side um, and here it is moment of truth let's see if this is in fact what it says it is. Um, okay, this is looking promising. It looks to be the exact same thing. They're the same size. Um, back to back, they're the same. They have the Canon, oop, they have the Canon logo both on the same side too and they looked identical. So let's open it up and see if this is really it. All right, okay, okay, this looks like it, I like it. Yeah, this looks pretty <laughs> legit. I don't know what else to say. Like, I mean, it definitely doesn't look like the alternative brands that I've been researching for this, um, the cheaper ones. So yeah, I mean, this seems to be kind of the original. I'm gonna have to check the serial number on this because you could do that. Um, but just from a first look kind of perspective, it has, you know, all the same kind of looks as the original adapter. Um, I could maybe show that later with the Canon EOS R. I mean, it just looks to be the same as the original adapter. I mean, there's nothing special with 
this specific adapter. I, I will say that in the product description, I mean, it did say, you know, it would come with a control ring that works, but as you can see, there's no control ring. So, I mean, that doesn't bother me because I was only hoping to buy the original EF to RF adapter. Anyways, I'm scared I'm gonna open this and find like some sort of flaw, but everything looks to be good inside. I mean, I don't see any kind of errors or scratches. Like I'm feeling around, it's all smooth on the edges here. I guess we won't really know unless we put it on the EOS R, which I should just go do right now and just see if this actually works. All right, I'm gonna throw the 50 millimeter EF18 on here and let's see this click. Yep, seems to work. Let's open up the screen. I made kind of a weird kind of noise for a second, but I think everything should be good. Let's see if something shows up. This is kind of interesting. So I just tested out the autofocus with it. For some reason, like the first like couple seconds of me using it, it seemed a little bit slow, even with my exposure, you know, pretty high up. And then after a little bit, it start to, you know, be kind of at the right speed that it was supposed to be. Um, probably just because this adapter hadn't been used in a while, so maybe it just needed a little warming up, but it seems to it seems to work fine. You can see it from here. Hey, you can see my face, I guess if I'm not too close. This is the 50 millimeter, so it is gonna be a little bit tight, but it seems to work, so we are good with this. So the reason why I bought this EF to RF adapter was as many, you know, Canon RF mount camera owners know that these cameras require RF lenses to use them. Um, but this adapter kind of gives new life to your older EF mount lenses, which if you invested quite a bit of change in it, gives them, you know, pretty much a longer, you know, lifespan of use for your future cameras with this adapter. It just made more sense to get the EF to RF adapter so I didn't necessarily have to go spend a ton of money on the new RF glass, which I really do want, but it is a lot of money. Uh, and this then saves me you know, quite a bit of money if you could find it available. The hard part was finding you know, even one that was for sale as well as being significantly under what everyone else was charging you. So I pretty much got this for like half the price that it's going for. So I mean, I kind of just want, had to buy it, you know, at that point. And then if I do really want to, and I do figure out I don't really use the R too much, I could end up selling that adapter and pretty much making my money back. So it's a win-win for me essentially on this end. Yeah, this will let me be able to film kind of two camera angles, one with the Canon EOS R5 and then one with the Canon EOS R with this new adapter. And I'm excited, you know, to see where that kind of goes and the kind of different content I could take with these two kind of different angles with two, you know, really awesome cameras. So if you want to see, you know, where that goes and kind of the future stuff with that, make sure to press that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on daily videos that I put out. Um, make sure to like this video if you liked it and enjoyed it. Um, so that lets me know that you want to see more of it and then comment down below your thoughts if you, you know, were able to get your hands on the Canon EF to RF adapter. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, let's get, oh, I keep forgetting that I'm way too short in this chair. Let's try this again.